guys, this is Backdraft, and welcome to Sky Factory 3, episode 12. So, the first thing I need to show you guys from progress from my last episode is that I have done a couple hours of AFK. So, let me show you guys what this monstrosity has done. I got 34 diamonds in here, and there's just a crazy amount of resources built up. And this is just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. But... It's not enough. I'm not satisfied. So one of the plans I have for the near future is to make an enormous auto sieve system, which I'm probably going to put over on a platform in that direction. So that's one new project that I have. Um, another thing that I've done is I started uh, doing my coal powder over here so that I don't have to walk from way over there over here to make some steel but I've made a lot of steel and I've got more cooking up right now in here uh, I got 19 more in there wow we almost got a whole stack of steel so that's awesome another thing that I've got going is I want to put all of my agricultural stuff over there so that's another project that we can get around to in the near future but um while I was AFK, if you guys can't see already, we finally got ourselves some passive mobs in here. Two piggies. Now, <laughs> piggies aren't really what I'm looking for right now. I kind of want to get chickens so I can start looking into creating a crazy chicken farm. Because if you guys aren't aware, there's mods in this mod pack. I forgot what it's called. Uh, let me check here. Um, log chicken, for example. Chickens. Okay, it's just called chickens. <laughs> So, um, basically what you can do is you can get chickens that can lay diamonds, that can lay logs, that can lay, um, ender pearls, everything you can think of. And, um, it's just insane. So I, I, I definitely want to start to get some chickens. Um, and then let's go check out over by my mob farm over here because there's been a lot, and I mean a lot of loot and loot bags that have been accumulating in here and I've been compressing them down to uh, rare loot bags so that I could uh, get something that I'll show you guys in a second. So, I mean, there's a lot of loot in here now. Oh, I didn't even know. Whoa, we got a notch apple. I didn't even notice that before. Um, Yeah, so uh, like I said, I've been compressing these down to rare loot bags and we're going to start opening those in a bit. Another thing I need to do is I need to add filters on here because the dirt in these ones just build up and they don't get sucked into the chest. But another thing I show you guys is I have 57 dirt and we're going to be using that to expand our passive mob spawning platform over there. But the first thing I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to start opening up these rare loot bags and I'm going to show you guys why. So in order to get slime, we need slimy saplings. <laughs> and the way you get these, as far as I can see, the only way is to open up rare loot bags. So we are gonna start opening up these rare loot bags and we'll see if we can get ourselves a slimy sapling and start to get some slimes. Now before I do that, I should also mention the reason I wanna get slimes is because I can start making these. So vector plates require a slime ball, stone, and sugar. And what they do is any entity or item that oopsie, that falls uh, on them, and mobs can also spawn on top of them, are moved in the direction that the arrow points. So I can get rid of these mob fans. I don't have to worry about upgrading those anymore, and I can make this thing longer and taller and just put vector plates on the bottom to get the mobs to go into, oops, got some experience, to go into these spikes. So let's get started with the bag opening. Oopsie. Okay, let's move a couple of these into my hot bar. And let's hope we can get one. Void crystal pants. Okay. Ooh, a baconator. So a baconator, as you guys can see, it holds food for you. And um, if you guys don't feel like eating, the baconator will just eat for you. So that'll come in handy. Um, let's see. Iron boots, energetic alloy, another lava charm. Yes, we got one. Okay. All righty. All righty. Okay. Purple slime sapling only grows on slimy dirt or grass. That's okay. Um, I don't have slimy dirt, I don't think. And redstone alloy. I don't know what that is. Um, why can't I pick that up? Oh, because it was still taking up that spice. Uh, space. <laughs> spice. Gotta go to spice. Um, all right. We'll put all these back for now. Maybe we'll compress them down and see if we can get a legendary loot bag already. But let's take this slimy sapling. 
and let's get ourselves some slime. Now, I'm going to go plant this over on my grass because you can't plant it on regular dirt. So let's get going. Da 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 da. -da. I think they're trying to escape. <laughs> um, let's hope but get in there. Yeah, okay. So let's grow this bad boy. And it won't let me plant it for some reason. It's a purple slime. Hang on. Purple. Does this take something different? Only grows on slimy dirt or grass. So why can't I plant it on this grass block? How do you make slimy dirt? I can't type today. Uh, green slimy mud. Green slimy dirt. Ugh, you need eight slime balls and a piece of dirt. I don't have eight slime balls. Come on. Oh, slimy grass. But I don't have silk touch, so how am I going to get grass? Ah, oh, this is a pain. I know I have a couple slime balls. Um, Let's see, can you get slimy dirt? Green slimy dirt. Let me check. I don't know if I've ever gotten any of either of those. So let me put some of this crap away here. Um, don't need those for now. Don't need that. Worry about that later. Got another void crystal hoe. And we'll put that in there. Keep that. Eh, I don't want to match. Or if I put those on, I won't match, so that's fine. Okay, um, doesn't look like I got I got a couple slime balls there, and I have a congealed blood slime block, but that only gives me six. <laughs> which sucks. Um yeah. I mean, if I had a piece of grass, I could plant her down. Or I could construct a slimy grass, but I don't. Oh, man. This sucks. There's just so many things that you need to have in order to get other things, and yeah, it's it's a pain. Um. Oh, looks like you can get slimy dirt from rare loot bags. So why don't we go back and open some more, and maybe we'll get lucky and get some slimy dirt. La la. <laughs> okay, because we do have quite a few rare loot bags in here. That was a rare loot bag, right? Let me go look. Um, yes, a rare loot bag. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's keep on cruising with this. Let's hope we can get some slimy dirt. Void crystal boots and lily pads. No. Glittering melon, more energetic alloy. I mean, energetic alloy isn't so bad. Oh, we got another slimy sapling. And a tool rack. A jerky nader. <laughs> a golden chest transporter. Look, in handy. Lesser ring of experience. We already have one of those. A hen house. That's not too bad. Another chicken nader. Oh, we got it. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, so let's get going. Yes. I don't know if we're the luckiest, luckiest SOBs in this entire game, but, uh, man, that saves so much time. Alrighty, let's put all this crap away. Go away. Take those bad boys. Go away, go away, go away. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God, we just have so much crap. Have you guys ever heard of refined storage? <laughs> because that is definitely something that I want to get into uh, in the near future because it helps you organize everything that you have and um it's uh let me show you real quick refined storage so where's the crafting grid um we have a crafter yeah but it's it's a while before i get any of that stuff but anyway refined storage is just a way of you storing all of your items in one place and you go to it and you can search through it and it's just, it's freaking awesome. But anyway, let's get ourselves some slime and see if we can revamp our mob spawner using vector plates. Twerking away, twerking away. <laughs> all right. Oh, this is fantastic. All right, let's chop her down. Oh. And we have seven slime blocks and 28 slime. That's not so bad. 
Um, and we need to smack these leaves and pray we get more saplings, and we do, perfect. Um, I should probably be using a crook, to be honest. Let's do that a couple more times, and then I'll go get my crook so that uh, we can optimize the amount of saplings we get. This is fantastic. All right. Okay, more slime. Let's go get our crook. I think I still have one. Yep, I do. Okay. And, oh, we got another one. All right, let's smack this bad boy away. Oh, and you get more slime from the leaves, too, when using a crook. Okay. And we got 31 saplings. Oh, this is fantastic. Um, Smack those bad boys away. Jump up here. Okay. Let's get a couple stacks of slime. And then we'll see about making those vector plates, because I need sugar. And, um... My sugar cane is kind of low right now. Uh, we might have to do a bit more AFK before we can get some sugar. Where the other oh, in my inventory? Okay. Alrighty, we got one stack. Let's smack away those leaves. Okay. Not too shabby so far. We gotta eat. Okay, twerking away. Okay. Alrighty. We are almost to a couple of stacks here. We're also getting blue slime. Oh, that was purple, but that's okay. Um, I think the only difference is it makes purple leaves, which give you purple slime balls. Come on, little guy. Why are you so stubborn? There we go. Okay. Alright, I think that should be plenty, actually. So, let's see how much sugar... Oh, it looks like I missed a block. Let's see how much sugar I can get. Stone is not a problem. My auto stone uh, machine over here has just been going nuts. <laughs> I don't think I can turn paper back into sugar cane. <laughs> that would be nice, because I made a lot of paper. Hey, piggies. Um, why did I come over here? Um, oh yeah, to get the sugar. Um, so we got two, eh, that'll make us 16 vector plates, and I have another sugar cane over here. Uh, somewhere, there it is. So that'll make us 24 vector plates. Um, I think we're gonna need more, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I think we're definitely going to need more. So, in the meantime, let me throw... Oops, that's not my wood. Let me throw all of this in here. Just for now, we'll throw the sugar in there too, just so we know where it is. And while we're waiting for my sugar cane to grow... Actually, I think you can water it. Why would I waste time? Let me grab my water can here. Let me see if watering the... Uh, sugar cane will make it grow faster. Call me crazy, but I think that is the case. And we might as well just get as many vector plates as we possibly can because our farm <laughs> needs to be better. Um, I don't know if this is speeding anything up. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You know what? There is one more thing we can do. Let me show you guys the achievement book over here. Because there is an achievement in here that says, Prove to the world that sand grows sugarcane faster than dirt with a block of a snad. <laughs> so snad actually does grow sugarcane faster and all it requires is two pieces of sand. <laughs> it's actually, um, it's kind of like a troll that's turned into an actual game mechanic because for the longest time, there's people who were convinced that sand grew sugarcane faster than dirt. Then everybody else was like, no, you're crazy, you're crazy, it doesn't. And then someone finally looked at the game code and said, here you go, no it doesn't. <laughs> so, that is the story behind Sna or, uh, where Snad came from. So let me throw this down because it's, it grows my sugarcane faster. And where are my three pieces? And we'll just let that go for a minute. Okay, let's put these blocks away. 
Okay. And where did the rest of my sugar go? Did I put it in? Yeah, I put it in here. Okay. So while we're waiting on the sugar cane to grow, let's head over here. I'm actually going to check that off. Use nesting pens, totemy research collection of chickens. Yeah, use a medic. Capture cow in a jar. We still need to do a couple things here. So we'll keep an eye on those. But let's go grab our dirt. And we're going to expand our um, passive mob farm spawning area. While I'm in here, I don't know what this dire wolf bag is. So let's open it. Um, okay. Just got a bunch of stone and glass. I mean, that... I guess I'll eventually use that stuff. Um, let's head back over here. I'm going to throw all this in here. Um, and the glass. And let's go over here and start expanding our passive mob farm. Okay, actually that means I don't want these piggies to run around rampant. So the first thing I need to do, and I was actually just thinking there for a minute, um, is that I need to get a couple animal nets, which are quite simple to make. Um, yeah, so three sticks and three string each. Um, I know I got string somewhere. Why do I always misplace my string? <laughs> Um, oh, there it is. And then I need some sticks. And let's build a couple animal nets. And then I think that was the recipe. Yep. Okay, so let's grab these piggies. And let's get a chest too while we're at it, just so we can throw them down. And I need dirt. I need my cobblestone walls. And I'm going to need my watering can, which I have. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. So while we're waiting on the sugar cane to grow, we're going to continue on with this. Let me grab my piggies. That guy and that guy, and then we'll throw down the chest here for now, and we'll throw them in there. Alrighty, let's get to work. So let's smack... Oh, I forgot the chiseled cobblestone, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so I have... 61 dirt blocks, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I have two sides, so I could do um, 30 on each side, but to make it divisible by 7, 28 on each side. So we can go up by 3 on each side, which should give us a better spawn rate over here, I would hope. Okay, one, two, three, seven, and we'll grab my wand. And I don't know why I wasn't doing the oh, because that one grew into grass already. <laughs> okay, so that's three dirt that way, and then we'll do the same over here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we'll do the same. And it looks like I have. Yeah, 28 would be 4. My maths is bad. <laughs> Alrighty, and it looks like I missed over here. And I think we're good. Okay. So I need to make some more chiseled cobblestone and put that around. But for now, I'm going to do this. This should work out just fine. And we'll put the chiseled cobblestone underneath once I get that, throw that bad boy there, there. I don't think I'm going to need to make more of this. Okay. And then I'll water all of this so the grass starts to grow. Alrighty. Let's give it a watering. Okay. It looks like it. <laughs> the animation's funny. The the 
watering can just bobs up and down. <laughs> well, I hope more passive mobs start to spawn over here because this is a pretty big area. Okay, come on, just a couple more. Come on. Come on. Okay. Yeah, that'll grow eventually. Alrighty. Let's head back. Looks like we got some more sugar cane. Grab that, grab that, make it into sugar. And let's go sleep. Okay, I think we're almost up with time for this episode. So while we are at it, let's go check to see if anything spawned while I was away. I don't doesn't look like it. That's okay though. Yeah, we'll just let that go for now. But before we end the episode, I want to show you guys how these vector plates work. So let's grab all the materials we need for those. And my slime blocks. And we'll make as many as we can. So we can make Sugar is the bottleneck here, and bam, we made 48 of them. That's quite a bit. So let's go over here real quick and see how many blocks I have chilling in here. And I need to make some uh, vacuum chest as well, like I've been saying for a while. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve by. Don't need vector plates there. One, two, three, four, five. So it's 12 by five, which is 60. So for this, I need at least 60 vector plates. <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna take a while to get this sugar growing. I should really expand my sugar cane farm. Uh. Oh, wait. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I should really expand my sugar cane farm. That'll be something that I need to do. But anyway, I think that is all the time I have for this episode, guys. If you've liked it, please do not hesitate to hit that thumbs up. And if you've been enjoying the series so far, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to be alerted about when new videos are uploaded for this series, you can hit the little bell next to the subscribe button or head over to Twitter at BackdraftGamer and give me a follow. All right. Thanks, guys, as always, and bye-bye.